Hello everyone and welcome back to another base bow tutorial. Like I say often about these base bows, you can make these as a hair bow on their own. They're quite simple and if you don't want to use too much ribbon, these do look good as a simple bow as they are. But I am making this one as a base bow and I'm going to show you how to do it today. This is similar to the double tux bow or the double pinch bow they're sometimes called. But I call this one the double loot X bow because we form an X to make it. And you will need two pieces. These are four centimeter wide pieces of ribbon or one and a half inch wide. And these two pieces are cut to 21 centimeters in length or just over eight and a quarter inches in length. And that is two pieces. Depending on the bow you make, you may need to cut these smaller or bigger. I will let you know if you're watching a particular hair bow tutorial, what length you will need for the base. But for this tutorial, we are using 21 centimeter pieces of ribbon. And you will need to heat seal all of the raw edges of your ribbon, all four ends, and this will prevent any fraying and also get rid of any existing frays. You need to fold your ribbon in half to find the centre. To do that, I just give it a little squeeze and that marks enough of a crease. You can use a little bit of heat from a lighter if you do it quickly and gently so you don't burn your ribbon. I'll show you on this piece, I'll fold it in half to find the centre. And I will just run my lighter across and that will give a more deeper crease. And then I've got here some all-purpose adhesive. You can get this in different makes as long as it's an all-purpose adhesive and it is a clear glue. And what you need to do is on one end of the ribbon, just pop a small amount of the all-purpose adhesive and join the two ends together by overlapping them around a half a centimeter, making sure they're nice and straight. So you've got this loop. Do the same on both pieces. Form a loop, overlapping it by around a half a centimeter. So we've got our two loops like this. Next, I'm going to push this crease down to meet up with where they overlap. And then with this piece, I'm going to do the same roughly, but I'm going to leave it open because I'm going to slot this one inside. And this is where we form that X. And we want to line up both of the ends and I'm just sliding it to make sure where they join is roughly in the middle and the crease is roughly in the middle so it should look like this now you've got this X shape and they're lined up at the ends and now we're going to sew across the middle here from this corner across to this corner where they just overlap. So I've got a needle here threaded with some strong thread and a knot in the end. If you want, you can fold it at this point and again, give it another squeeze so you can see where you're stitching or you can just do it by eye. So beginning where they overlap, one, two, three, four, five, and then coming out on that last corner, again, catching all the layers where they overlap. Pull that all the way through. So it looks like this at the top. In for one, two, three, four, five, out through the last edge for six. This is the underside. And this is why we use glue and not pin it here, because you need to make sure that this stays together, because obviously the stitches don't quite catch all of those overlaps. And then when you've got those stitches in, you can then give that a pull 
to form the pinch and then wrap that around the center a couple of times and then on the underside just go through catching a little bit of the ribbon and then on the second go in don't pull it completely tight go through that loose loop a couple of times and that will form a knot and hold that in place so you can trim off the excess thread. And then, like I said, you can then add a clip to this in the centre and use that as a bow as it is. You could use two different colours of ribbon. So it does make a nice hair bow as it is. But this particular one is what I'm going to be using as a base bow. I'll pop a link for a tutorial here where I use this as a base bow but as an example. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you did, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell button to turn on notifications. I'll see you again soon. Bye.